Hello everyone, today we're going to learn about how to search for images in a more efficient manner on the Google browser and you might find this stupid but a lot of people aren't aware of these options that I'm going to tell you about. So let's get started. So here you have the search bar as usual. So you just search for something, suppose mountains and I go to the images tab. Now what we usually do is we end up scrolling to find the perfect image that we need. But the thing that we don't realize is there's a tools option here right where I'm putting my pointer at. And if you press the tools option, you get a variety of filters to filter out your images uh, according to the needs. So what you can do here, the first filter that we have is the size filter. So in case you need a very good quality image, you need to go for a larger size image and choose that image and you can copy it and I'll show you. You can copy it and paste the image. And now if you resize this image, then it will be of a better resolution than of any smaller image that is being resized into a, a slightly larger image. So always go for a larger image if you're searching for images on Google. Secondly, let's uh, move on to the other filter options. The second option is the color option. Again, this is very, very useful because sometimes I'm looking only for black and white pictures and this completely filters out and keeps only the black and white pictures. So this is extremely convenient. The second option that you have in the color uh, filter is transparent. Again, very useful feature since a lot of us work with PowerPoint presentations. It becomes very useful when we use such images. Let's just wait for the image to load. Now that you see here, there's a checkered background uh, for this image. So if I choose to copy this image and I paste this image here, I can see that it has a transparent background and it has actually, it comes without a background. So it gives a more 3D effect and looks better when you put it in your presentations. So if you're looking for PNG images, then definitely go and use the transparent filter. Now let's uh, see the other option. The last option in the color filter is the colors. You can choose the colors for which you need the images and the images pertaining to those specific colors will show up. So it makes your work easier. You can have actually multiple filters in place. I'm going to change the yellow filter back to transparent. And I'm going to uh, go to the type filter next. So the type filter has a clip art, line drawing or a GIF. The most useful of them, I feel, is the GIF since um, a lot of people don't end up using GIFs in their presentations, but it does make it look much, much better. So here you have a GIF which has a transparent background, which is that if I copy this, you can see that, that there's this slight color change taking place in the image. I'll just copy the GIF, go to my PowerPoint presentation and paste it here. I'll have to resize it as required and I'll place it in the center of the page. Now you can see that I can't see the GIF changing colors, but once I move to the slideshow mode, here I can see that my GIF is functioning properly and it is changing colors and the background also looks really nice. So this is how the GIF works and this is how you can incorporate these in your projects. Let's get back to the filter options. The other filter option that we have is, uh, again, you also had clip art and drawing, line drawing over here. So you can use them if required. The next filter option that we have, which is not that as useful as the previous three, is the time. You can select the time those three last, the images that you need are uploaded. So in case you're looking for an image of a very recent topic or of some topic which gets updated very regularly, you can make use of the time filter. And uh, this last filter that we have here is the usage rights. It comes in very handy for the people who are taking images off of the internet and putting them in their um, projects or research papers or anywhere that they need to mention the usage, usage rights for the images. And the, last, and the last option that we have here is to clear all the filters. So once you clear all the filters, you're back to your images as were and you just need to keep scrolling to find the perfect image. So make sure to use the tools next time you're looking for the images on Google and filter out the images as required. And that's all for the video today. If you did enjoy the video, make sure to like, share and subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching.